back. It's Dana Shea again. Um, this is video number two on living out your dreams. So I'm so excited that you um, got something out of video number one and you are here watching video number two. If you haven't seen the first video, then go ahead and take a look at that. You can see the web address um, for video number one down at the bottom of your screen. So go ahead and take a look at that. Um, but today we're actually going to talk a little bit more about living out your dream. And this one might not be as inspirational, but it's very challenging and it's something that you really, really need to consider, okay? And that is, what are you willing to give up to realize your dream? And, you know, a lot of times this isn't really talked about a lot because, you know, a lot of people, they want to hear stories and they want to hear all of the great success, you know, stories and testimonials and you know what, and th those, are, those are great, and we need those. Those are going to encourage us. Those are going to inspire us. But what you need to understand is that successful people didn't become successful overnight, and they didn't become successful on accident. There was a decision that they made, and there were some things that they systematically had to give up. So I want you to be able to start thinking about what are some things that I am willing to give up today so that I can reach my dream. What are you talking about, Dana? Well, listen. Me personally, I have to give up sleep a lot of times. You know, I have four children, and it's very hard sometimes being a uh, stay-at-home mom who's working from home with my own, with my own business to really um, spend time, quality time with all of my children and work at the same time. It's definitely possible, and I've written blogs about how it's definitely uh, very realistic for you to be able to do that. But sometimes I have to give up sleep. You know, I have to wake up early, which is not very often because I'm not a morning person. So mostly when I give up sleep, I'm talking about I have to stay up late. Okay. You'll see me burning the midnight oil way into well after midnight, two, three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes because there are things that I need to accomplish that I can only do when my house is completely quiet. Okay. So another thing that I've given up me personally is TV. I don't watch TV. You know, one day I was sitting there and, you know, I realized I'm sitting here watching E! News Channel or whatever it was, looking at all these celebrities making their dreams come true, and I'm not living my dream. And so, you know, I was like, heck no, I'm turning that remote off, and I don't, I don't watch TV. It's just kind of personally something I'm not going to waste three hours watching somebody else's life when I can be living my own and making my own dreams come true. So those are just kind of two of the things. I've given up many other things for different seasons. You know, sometimes you might have to give up something for a little while, and then you can go pick it back up. Or sometimes you'll realize, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. And so, you know, whatever it is for you, I want you to be able to begin to brainstorm about that right now and start to think about that because the truth of the matter is it's going to be very, very difficult for you to be able to live your dream if you're not going to closely examine your life now and see what are some time suckers. You know, those time suckers are things that suck your time out. That, you know, you start doing something at 3 o'clock, next thing you know, it's 7.30. And you're like, when the world happened? Where did all the time go? That, whatever you were doing for four and a half hours, is something that you need to cut out. Because that is a huge obstacle to your dream. And you know what? In living out your dreams, a lot of people think that all your opposition is going to come from without. But most of your opposition, you're going to find is going to come from within. It's going to be things that you're doing. It's going to be things that you're not doing. Maybe things that you don't know that are really going to be the obstacle um, against you living out your dream. So that's it for video number two. It's basically just encouraging you to decide what it is that you're willing to give up, hopefully for a short season, so that you can begin living out your dream. All right, everybody. Click on over to video number three and we're really going to get into some really good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next video.